It was this research into the Latin Oxygen for Kyle XY. One of the uh, articles that we discovered about the Latinox Society was one of the experiments they were attempting was prolonged gestation using primates that allow uh, them to basically grow a human with a superior intellect. It's like, well, what do you do if you take that kind of person who is, you know, a prolonged gestation and then you kind of ripped from that and thrown into the world, you know, a complete blank slate. But I think what the Latinox Society was really trying to achieve was a was uh, a person that wasn't just capable of great knowledge, but also great wisdom. And I think which we see it with Kyle is he's not just super smart, but he's also incredibly compassionate. And I think in that sense, uh, Kyle is very much kind of the pinnacle of what the Latinox Society was attempting to achieve. After Kyle premiered, we got a phone call from someone from the Latinox Society. For decades, they'd been really kind of underground and off the radar, and now suddenly you have this hit show that is basically bringing them not only to the, to the limelight, but sort of in this pop culture spotlight. It was really kind of great to read that the core of their mission statement was the very same core of the character of Kyle. I mean, that, that is his heart. And so since that initial phone call, that we've actually kept up a dialogue with the Latinox Society. So it's very much art imitating life in the sense that these questions that we have had, those answers seem to really bring up more questions, which is exactly what we're trying to do with the show, with Kyle X. White. The writers in the show were definitely inspired uh, and influenced by, you know, the goals of the Latinox Society. Here we are writing, you know, these, these episodes, but they're actually really doing this stuff. We are very much trying to live up to the legacy of the Latinox Society, because whereas Kyle is you know, a make-believe hero, the members of the Latinox Society are real-life heroes. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Ballister. I'm a researcher in genetic engineering and a member of a rather obscure scientific organization called the Latinox Society. Now, most of you have probably never heard of the Latinox Society, even though our members have been involved in some of the greatest scientific advances of the last 50 years. Our goal is to live up to our ideals by advancing the evolution of human intelligence, by inspiring lively debate about the issues we face, and, above all, by living the principle that nurturing all of humanity, in all of its myriad forms, is the key to our progress as a species. We've allowed this small camera crew to join us today so that we share our thoughts about science, about the future of human intelligence, and in larger context, the world. But every discussion has a preamble, every organization has a past, and that is where we shall begin. The Latinox Society traces its beginnings to the massive mobilization of science that helped the Allies win World War II. In the high desert of eastern Washington state, the U.S. War Department assembled a group of scientists to take part in the biological equivalent of the Manhattan Project, codenamed Project Eugene. The experiments conducted by Project Eugene included groundbreaking research in cell biology and ultimately led to Crick and Watson's discovery of DNA. Other social and behavioral theories spurred real-world changes in the U.S. Army leading to the complete integration of the service during the Korean conflict, decades before the end of Jim Crow. But as the Cold War dawned, Project Eugene took on a more sinister role in the fight against communism, and by the late 1940s, many Project Eugene scientists had renounced their work for the program. In 1948, a handful of the original project members came together to form a society that could counter the effects of Project Eugene. It was to be a scientific society dedicated to the evolution of human intelligence. Their goal was to nudge human consciousness and intelligence along by unlocking the social and genetic power of diversity within the species Homo sapiens. This new group called themselves the Latinox Society, from the Hungarian word Latinok, which means seer or prophet. Their hope was that their vision of humanity might be the true destiny of humankind. 
Today, the Latinox Society continues that proud tradition by funding important research projects, hosting worldwide conferences, and inspiring truly unique collaborations between some of the world's greatest scientific minds. We are so pleased here at Latinox that our modest work has inspired such a creative and somewhat scientific show. We look forward to seeing how Kyle lives up to the promise of his superhuman brain. And maybe now we've inspired you. We invite you to find out more about the Latinox Society by visiting us on the web at www.latinoxsociety.org. There you'll find the latest news from the world of science and excerpts from our quarterly journal, The Prophet. The Latinox Society website is also the home of our ongoing series of debates in which Latinox members from all over the world discuss pressing issues that face science and the global community. From all of us at Latinox, thanks for watching, and we hope you'll take a moment to discover the real Latinox Society. I'm Dr. Stephen Ballister, and remember, the Latinox Society is human intelligence and capability at its best.